morning guys just getting moving it is about 20 after 7 slept okay last night I was up multiple times to pee it was also pretty cold it's still pretty cold I've even got the Missy Elliott pants on and everything today we have a little more walking on diesel's route and then we're actually gonna hop off of diesel's route and go a different way we found another road that kind of cuts a bit of his route off, so it'll shorten our reroute by we're assume we're we're guessing around 13 miles. If we can cut it short, then that's great because we're doing all these extra miles, like I said, just to skip a 30 mile fucking fire closure. So we're at least doubling our mileage already so if we can cut some of it off then we're going to do that so then this other road that we found will take us to like the end of the PCTA recommended reroute so we are going to get some of the rugged terrain and some of that shit that we wanted to skip by but to have less mileage we think it's worth it so that's what we're gonna do hoping that it warms up a little bit shortly and hoping that we have another decent day of walking here hoping that our bodies hold up too both of us are quite sore from yesterday so road walking really beats the fuck out of your body i know i keep saying that but it does all right we're officially off of diesel's route and onto this other road so we'll see how this goes as long as there's nothing closed or blocked off or anything crazy like that we should be fine i need to give a few shout outs this morning because i have been hooked the fuck up again and again and again these last uh two weeks or so first and foremost we got perry h repeat offender i appreciate you i have to thank Lindsay d yet again appreciate it so much and i have to thank my buddies back home oberg and dunbar you guys are awesome I miss you guys i'm excited to see y'all and uh I'll be home shortly the virtual trail magic on this hike has just been incredible and it's because of this magic that I don't feel bad about fucking buying a random pizza like yesterday especially toward the end of a hike when uh, funds are getting lower and lower and uh, you're thinking about all the shit that you gotta buy back home and <laughs> all the expenses it's gonna take to get life going again but uh yeah, just uh, thank you all so much. It means more to me than you guys know. When we got off of Diesel's route, we ended up on this skinny little road. It's like a one lane road, so hopefully the traffic kind of dies out now. We've had a fair bit of traffic on that other road that we just turned off of, but I can't imagine we'll see a lot here. Oh, and I also have to thank cje who sent another super thanks on youtube i appreciate that very much as well thank you stopped here at this campground entrance to have lunch today we're doing a ramen and a north side because i didn't eat din, din last night double lunch day it's a lot of calories that's a lot of happiness right there well thank you from our lunch spot we figured we had six to seven more miles on this road until we get to trail again which is the PCTA reroute so I imagine we'll be there within the next two hours or so and then uh, we should only have a part of a day on 
that reroute back to the actual PCT tomorrow. And that's the plan and that's what we're seeing when we map it out on Gaia, but it hasn't been totally accurate. I ate so much food for lunch, I was actually full for once. That never happens. Of course, I ended up with probably a whole extra day worth of food somehow. It's Friday right now. We're thinking we can be in Stahican probably later in the day on Sunday. And if we really dick around, maybe Monday morning. But I have plenty of meals. Snacks are running low as always. And then what we'd like to do is get all of our shit done in Stahican and get back out the trail. I think the only place we could maybe stay is at like a campground in town. I don't know. A lot of a lot of the things in Stahican are still closed due to this fire. I guess at one point they had to fucking evacuate or whatever, so half the town's still shut down. As I understand it, I think the restaurant might be open for lunch for like two hours in the middle of the day. And I don't know if the general store is open or not, but all of our food is at the post office. So we have to make sure that we're there when the post office is open. And of course it's not open on Sundays. So we'll need to grab our packages on Monday. All right, so we're at this trail junction here. This is where the PCTA route meets the diesel slash whatever other route we took. Um, so we are currently back on PCTA's recommended reroute. Just a little while back, um, a couple guys were at a campsite. They yelled to us and asked if we wanted a beer. So of course we obliged, um, had a couple beers with them, a couple swigs of whiskey. There was actually two guys that were playing pool at the pub that we were at yesterday. Um, so that was nice. Nice enough guys. Uh, talked to them for about an hour and just headed out with a couple good buzzes going. So I guess we follow this dirt road walk out and eventually we're going to hit trail and be back on normal terrain all right y'all here is camp for the night got a nice view seems like it might be a tad bit windy but um it's just getting chillier i guess this is where there's a trailhead right up here um and this is where we will get off of road finally and start hiking on actual fucking trail again. So hopefully it's a little easier on our feet tomorrow. But I'm gonna finish getting all my shit set up here, uh, start getting dinner going, and check in in a bit. And guess what tonight is? What? Northside, surprise, surprise. All right, y'all, I'm in my tent. Getting ready to hunker down because it's starting to rain a little bit. I felt a couple of raindrops during my stretch session. Um, so I'm going to get ready to get to bed. We did like 21, 22, some sort of miles today. I'm not sure exactly, but we're back on actual trail. And we'll be making our way to the PCT tomorrow. Um, the guys that gave us beers earlier said that we have some flat trail ahead of us we'll see if that's true and we also have to walk on a glacier apparently and some snow fields and shit like that so it might be a more interesting day um but that's all i got for now so i'll talk to y'all in the morning i hope you have a good night see you tomorrow